Hi, it's Mike Winkler doing post-processing again today with the Intuition client from Terra Recon. I've, I'm processing a TAVR and I've already more or less done a segmentation of the aortic root and we're now going to do our uh, three cusp and cusp, cusp overlap views. So um, I'm going to switch workflows to, to the TAVR workflow. I'm already there actually. Click on measurement and I'm going to start going through localization of the virtual basal ring down here in the um, coronal window. I'm going to do a counterclockwise rotation then a little bit and now what's the pseudo sagittal that puts me more or less in the plane of the aortic root you can see that this is functionally bicuspid and then I'm going to by holding down the middle and the right mouse button translate inferiorly till I see the leaflet material of the right um, um, leaflet disappear it looks like a little keyhole there and right there, boom, it's disappeared. There's some uh, beam hardening artifact from the calcium, but I'm right on it there. And then I'm going to continue the counterclockwise rule. And while I'm looking in the pseudoaxial plane, I'm going to be watching in the pseudocoronal plane for the very lowest point for the non coronary leaflet I think I found it so again now down in the pseudo coronal the lower uh, left window I'm going to do counterclockwise rotation until I'm on that hinge point so I've got two now and then over here in the lower right which is now just really a double oblique multiplanar reformat I'm going to translate back and forth I'm holding down the middle and the right mouse button until I find where the nadir of the connection of the sinus wall and the leaflet uh, come together and then I'm going to slightly correct. So now I've got all three points. Um, here in the lower uh, right window I have the um, uh, left and then over here in the lower uh, uh, left window I have the right and the non so next thing I'm going to do I've already set myself for, up for it is use uh, the multi-masking to manually identify the hinge points I'm coming here to region of interest I'm going to click freehand um, then I'm going to come over here to one of my uh, planes and I'm holding down shift I'm going to roll the mouse down uh, toward me and I'm just going to set um, myself up to have a two millimeter circle there so then I'm going to come here and mark these you know that's the right these are just making little marks in um, in three-dimensional space the region of interest is propagating in and out of the plane so I've marked three spots and then I'm going to hit include so we have three pink dots there and uh, if I come back here and I go down a little bit you can see them even better mm -hmm. so now the one that's closest to us is the right um, that's the left and that's the non coronary and that's going to become helpful here in a second so before we do anything else um, let's come back to the workflow hit measurement and um, what time is it oh what time of day is it 3 30 okay we got to go give that lecture soon so I'm going to come here um, using the Terra Recon's uh, tool to identify the um, cusps and I'm going to and the way you do that is you you do left right and then non so if we say this is the left left this is the right 
and we're going to call this the non. It's a little blurry over here, but that gives us uh, this orientation. And you can see they landed on our dots up here. So if I click three cusp view, it um, gives us that view, right? So I'm just going to hit capture there to make sure we keep it. Aria 1, cranial 8. Um, if we want to overlay the um, right and the left so that the right is right in front of the left, we can just manually turn it because Terra Recon doesn't have this automated yet. And now we have the cusp overlap view. And you know, that's only a 22 RAO. That would be a perfectly reasonable uh, gantry um, position for deployment. So I'll take a, uh, a click there. Now, you know, there's always an infinite number. So if you wanted to um, fix it so that uh, you had a more shallow orientation, you could just move it any way you like. That would be an alternate one. Um, there's really an infinite number of planes you can pick where the R and the L overlap. Here, i got to pause this real quick to answer the phone. And we're back. So I'm going to just click anterior view and then three cusp view again to try to get back to where it looks like we broke the orientation here somehow. Uh, landmarks, anterior view, annulus. Here, let's see, will it take us back to where we should be? Nope. Okay. Well, at any rate, that's how you do the views. Um, and we'll find the plane again and move on to our other measurements. Thanks for listening.